So the first question I want to address is this, uh, looking at disasters as an opportunity. Because, uh, you know, whilst obviously there's a lot of suffering and, and uh, a lot of pain uh, in any crisis, in any emergency, I think there's also some attributes, attributes of disasters which are particularly unique and I think that can help us to understand how to build safer, more resilient, less disaster prone societies. The, the first one is, is that, that disasters always expose the weaknesses within a society. They always expose the deficiencies, they expose what the interdependencies are, they expose where particular vulnerabilities are, particularly vulnerable groups, um, and, and, and those vulnerabilities are not readily apparent in a normal situation. So it's only when the system becomes under pressure that it really brings to the surface some of those weaknesses that we need to address in the longer term if we're to build safer societies. The, the, the second one is, is, is around this issue about, it, it also provides a leverage entry point for change. Because many of the things we have to do to build safer, stronger societies require a degree of structural change within our societies. They require changes to policies, reforms of government processes, of government structures. And, and again, that's quite hard to do in a normal situation. But when there's a time of adversity, when there's economic losses, social losses, political crises, that's when there's a political opening, a space for reforms which are not easy to do in a normal situation. So two positive attributes of disasters and crises there that I think we need to, uh, to capitalise more on.